What if I told you a group of independent researchers recently discovered a way to take fat storage cells or help your body convert fat storage cells into actual fat burning cells? Well, as of December 17th, 2015, researchers may have discovered that exact way and it's through the use of fish oil. Before I begin, keep in mind this research was initially done in animals and has to be carried out to humans. However, let us proceed. In the public title called Fish Oil Helps Transform Fat Cells from Storage to Burning, citation title, and I'll read through this first paragraph kind of fast as well as the title just to get to the meat of the study. Fish oil intake induces UCP1 upregulation in brown and white adipose tissue via the sympathetic nervous system, published 17th of December 2015 in Scientific Reports, which is actually Division of Nature. This is what they said. Begin the prelude. These fatty acids which are abundant in fish have hypolipidemic effects that augment the efficacy of lipid lowering drugs. First, they go into the benefits, reduce cardiac events, and inhibit the progression of arterial sclerosis. Numerous animal studies have demonstrated that fish oil reduces the accumulation of body fat, which could be mediated via several possible mechanisms. Now, keep in mind, this is what they're trying to do. They're trying to figure out how fish oil helps reduce body fat. But let's proceed including reduced proliferation of fat cells and metabolic changes in the liver, adipose tissue, and small intestines. Furthermore, fish oil supplementation prevents fat accumulation in white adipose tissue, otherwise known as WAT, compared to other dietary oils. Now, this is how it appears to work. Now, keep in mind, if you bared with me throughout that long point, here comes the reward, so to say. Proceed forward with the research. The team explains in scientific reports that fish oil activates receptors in the digestive, digestive tract, fires the sympathetic nervous system, and induces storage cells to metabolize fat. Now, before we proceed, you've got to understand the different types of fat cells there are. So the researchers explain it this way. So-called white cells store more fat in order to maintain energy supply. A lot of us have no problem with white cells while brown cells metabolize fat to maintain a stable body temperature. For the longest period of time, we thought there were just white and brown. However, obviously, there was one in the middle called beige. To proceed, a third type of fat cell, beige cells, has recently been found in humans and mice and has been shown to function much like brown cells. Now, unlike brown cells and things like that, which tend to decline as you age, they found a way to keep these beige cells or convert other cells into beige cells. Proceed. The scientists investigated whether the number of these beige cells could be increased by taking in certain types of food. Voila, fish oil. They found that beige cells formed from white cells. So the white cells are kind of like they just store the fat. All of a sudden, with the fish oil, they're taking the white cells and converting them into fat burning cells, i.e. these beige cells. When the sympathetic nervous system was activated, meaning that certain fat storage cells acquired the ability to metabolize. And this is how they conducted the study. So basically, before I proceed forward, what the, what's happening is with the sympathetic nervous system, it's activating and it's causing these regular old storage cells to convert to these burning cells, which is fairly important. But I don't want to dwell on that. But here we go. The team fed a group of mice fatty food and other groups fatty food with fish oil additives. The mice that ate food with fish oil, they found gained 5 to 10% less weight and 15 to 25% less fat compared to those who did not consume the oil. Look at the chart. You see the control group, you see the, what's the HD group, and that's basically the, uh, the high amounts of fish oil, or high dose fish oil, LD, low dose. That's a huge difference. Imagine if you start uh, projecting that into the uh, human years, per se. That's a tremendous difference. The concentration of fish oil on the diet with a low dose, by the way, was about 1.2%, and the high dose, obviously, 2.4%. And both groups of all the groups of mice, per se, ate the same amount of calories, which were trying to encourage weight gain. However, the ones with the most fish oil gained the least amount of weight significantly. So, even besides the numbers on that, the amazing part is this, is that you actually can take white fat cells, which we thought, once you had them, that was it, end story, and you had less brown cells as you got older, and you had less beige cells. However, au contraire, with fish oil, for some unusual reason, through the sympathetic nervous system, you can look at the actual DOI citation, it explains it a little bit better. However, though, it is not a natural degradation of metabolism. 
things can be changed through diet to increase your fat burning capacity. And in this case, really, really, really simple way to do it. Again, this is Ralph Turciano. I hope this helps. Review the DOI citation from time to time. You get a little bit better understanding, look at the graphs and so on and so forth. But however though, take from this, you can change your metabolism through diet. Again, thank you very much for listening. I'll catch you next time.